Suzuki, which is uh, Ryu. It's a very frequent uh, regular here at Ignition. Yep. Definitely on the rise, make, taking some names here and there. And Slenderman. Slenderman. A hometown Link. Yeah, previously ranked uh, in our top 15. He was, yes. Last season. Yeah, he's really good. He's really good. So uh, let's see. It could go either way right here, honestly. It looks like maybe FD. But I know uh, Spidey's definitely well practiced in the Link matchup. He has uh, very many opportunities to fight against Slenderman and Rin, which is another Link. And we had Ezaw here for a few weeks. Where we did. I'm, I'm pretty just sure. I'm pretty sure. We had a lot of Links in town. He had a. I think he got a win on uh, Ezaw while he was here. So Spidey, I think he's ready for the matchup. Nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, they do play very different. I did get a chance to play Ezaw, and I know Slenderman is. He likes he likes his bombs a lot, a lot more. So we're gonna get into this. I'll be right back. Ooh, and yeah, he's starting it off right here on Final Destination. Link on FD, that's a very careful pick, but it's a, it's a good pick for Link. But, it, I mean, it's also a pretty good pick for Ryu. I definitely played a lot of Fort Glory recently and ran into a lot of Ryus myself. So let's see how this goes back and forth right here on Final Destination. And uh, this winner's round three. So far, we got an early start for Spidey. Racking it up, the percent. 58% to 16. Looking pretty good. Good start for Spidey. Slenderman, though, trying to keep him out with the projectiles. And, oh yeah, Link himself, he's got some pretty good multi-hits in back air and forward air. So he's able to break focus pretty well. And also his up smash. So uh, pretty even right now. Thunderman closing the gap right here. Oh, shield breaker, that's going to be a stock. Let's get that fully charged up smash. And that's a tipper at the end of it. So he definitely would have died way earlier than that even. So it's looking pretty good for Spidey in this game one. Slenderman's got to find an answer. Ooh, uh, that forward smash is a pretty good answer, but with no rage and center stage, that's not going to do much. Well, I like that option right there that he chose uh, with that tether attempting the trump. And now, Slenderman. Oh, oh that's an SD. SD, a life for a life. He died so that I can come back on the mic. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how it works. And that now, I mean, the last time situation, early percent, this can go either way. Yeah, definitely got to watch out for that. Uh, up B in neutral or out of shield, Slenderman is such a fan of that move. It works so well with him. I'm really hoping that SD didn't tilt Spidey because now he's down himself at a deficit. <laughs> deficit, but he is going to be having that important rage. He does die early to Link stuff. Ooh. But he, he can also kill him pretty early, so that's nice. Slenderman there trying to read a focused landing, but instead he lands with forward air, getting face control from it. So that's a great option from Spidey. Oh. Punish and, that. And that's so scary. That is uh, definitely a match where you really want to be sure that you're going to get your sure you can out. Because Link, he kills you so early. And I think he, he got that confirmed. I think actually Link might have died at 71. I know it, it would have killed Mario. Uh, Link maybe, maybe a little bit heavier oh, than yeah, Mario. Really? Maybe it, a little bit. Maybe a little. I don't know. He's, he's got some big pockets. Ooh. All right. So I had this prediction earlier. I was asking people, or I was asking JJ how many uh, new Luigis he thought he was going to see after uh, Elegant <laughs> did really well last weekend. Yeah, shout out to Elegant, man. Fifth place at a tournament where he actually won a 130-man bracket. Yeah, last chance qualifier. I'm actually super excited to see Luigi. The names that Luigi took that weekend were disgusting. He took out in that bracket. He took out Mr. R and Cosmos. Yes, he did. And so this is a, a little bit of a fickle matchup. Uh, as we know, Luigi is really, really good at getting some combos. Spidey won. No, Thunderman. Thunderman won the yeah. last match, and then he switched to Luigi. Thunderman took game yep. one uh, with the Link punishing that short Ryuken, but now we got the Luigi Ryu matchup, which you can tell us about. Yeah, this is one of those matchups where you have to be careful about your fireballs because uh, Ryu can jump over them and really pressure your shield. And he, if he's pressuring Luigi's shield, you're going to slide a lot and you're going to lose your shield very quick. So that's one of the downsides, but at the same time, Luigi does have a really good spacing game. And that jab going to be super helpful, especially against moves like down B. Yeah, and uh, Luigi's jab is just, just an incredible option. Not only that, but like it's framed it on like his whole kit is really nice. I did not know you could duck under that. <laughs> See, I'm learning things already. Luigi Nation coming out strong. That's not going to kill yet, but we'll get him off stage. Ooh, opting for the high recovery because we're not actually sure if Slenderman yep. can match just yet. It's uh, it's a little difficult to get the down B on the shore you can. Uh, sometimes it goes through. It's a pretty strong move. Oh, he just runs up and dog. does it. I approve. 
Oh, the pressure right there, but there's not actually the first hit. He had any spot dives the first hit, so he's yeah. good. And one of the only things, uh, it's interesting that he did a back throw there, because a down throw he would have been able to get a lot more percent, but that is okay. He's still in the lead. And barely escaping that up tilt. And uh, now we got Spidey in a tough situation. Oh, and that back air, that's a great approach option against Luigi, especially if he's sitting in shield in this matchup. All right, what are we gonna see? Good combo. Good grab right there, too. Getting on that juicy percent. Yeah, I can see grab heavy characters doing pretty well against Ryu. That being said, you know, Ryu is pretty comfortable at this percent. Yeah, he's got his nair strings to get off stage to link into the dare spike, but uh, Luigi being a little floatier, I think he might be a little less susceptible to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, really going in. Ooh. And uh, if he, that side B uh, is what killed him. If he didn't side B and he just waited, he could have up beat. But that's always a scary thing. I don't know if Spidey meant to do that on purpose. If he did, that was a really, really wonderful option because there's so many... That's, that's the best thing you can do. Of course, if it misfired, he would have exploded. <laughs> if it was a misfire, he would have exploded, yes. So, I mean, it's, it's, the it's, odds are in his favor, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad option, especially if like, it's like a lower angle, too. Like, maybe he can tech it, too. Mm -hmm. So, if you get to see Luigi. I always like watching Luigi play. Yeah, you, you did learn something from that game, too. So. I did learn something from that set. But we're going back to the link on Town and City, so this stage is definitely great for both characters. Oh, man. There's going to be so many early kills, or there could be, especially off the side, if you think of Link's forward smash off the side. And we got a color counter pick coming out of Spidey. Crazy color. Five? Yeah. I could see how this be a little bit frustrating for the Ryu player, just to get around that zoning game. Yeah, and then, uh, we look at like top level reuse. I think Locus is probably definitely a better Ryu against zoners in particular. We yeah. saw him do well against Shutan at Civil War earlier this year. It's difficult too, especially, um, you know, there's just so much coming at you. Fortunately, Ryu does have a pretty decent airspeed and good air mobility, so he can do a little bit of weaving. Ooh, and then, uh, we got Thunder Man not going too hard with that SDI on the uh, up tilt, yeah, so he's too hard. falling right into it again. Yeah, there's definitely more moves in the Bayonetta strings to uh, SDI out of the uh, Ryu up tilt as well, so you can actually SDI out of Cloud's forward smash. Oh wow. You can survive that. Uh, and also Meta Knight's up air strings, so SDI is important. Alright. And that looked very true. I'm not sure if it was, but it looked very true. Unfortunate for Ryu. Yeah, right around the 100%. Especially on Town and City, you want to yeah. watch out for that Link grab. You don't want to bait it out, probably. It's hard, too, because it's not an option that he's actively always looking for, so you might not be ready for it. Yeah, I know uh, Link players, especially two Link players, are very yeah. uh, wary about using their grab. Mm. And the bomb does clash, as we see. Probably two Link layers more just because they get less out of the grab than Link does. Yeah. So it looks like Spidey kind of trying to get out of the zone and try and make uh, Slenderman chase him chase him with the, his own zone and try and break him somehow that way. You never see it again with Spidey taking the first stock with the back air from Ryu. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Just test that down air. With a, with a He's Ryu brave. Ever. Oh, there we go. Let's see. He's okay. He's Good waiting. option to jump if you would have air dodge. Probably would have eaten an up smash or something like that. Yeah, patience is very important once you get further and further along the bracket, waiting for an option to open up. Especially against Link, because just because you get in doesn't mean you'll get a hit. And Link is waiting for you to get in to hit you with something very strong. So if you don't calculate right, you might die very early. Ooh, here we go, Punish just grab with the grab of his own, getting stage control for it. And and he's a little just, more percent, right? Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Uh, he's just got to rack up a little more damage, and he's got to put Link in that zone. Yep. Looking for the high recovery with that dare. Oh, oh, oh another one? No, doesn't get a chance to hit the ground. And that was a nice option, going for the down smash, just because of the frame, uh, the frame data. 
I definitely respect it. Like maybe if he went for like four, Smash he wouldn't have gotten in time. Yeah, I respect that. So Thunderman moving on in the winner's bracket. Respect.